Okay, so basically, uh, so the first one you're gonna click on is the Jimmy Fallon one. But so fun stuff. She doesn't have the wrapper in any of these two that I'm gonna show you. So she actually has an extra line and stuff. Mm -hmm. so it's like, yeah, apparently she said there was like five different versions of the song that she did. And then, oh, but it's great because every time she has to perform it live or whatever, she doesn't have the rapper. And I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but okay, so this one I was wondering if it had any, because it, it totally kind of looked Latin on me. Just how, like what the visual was. Yeah. Um, so maybe comment on that. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Que Wow Chicana and uh, today we're gonna do once again another reaction vid because surprisingly I was shocked. Um, finally, finally! <laughs> Camila Cabello, uh, there's a music video for this? Not yet. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, we are going to do another reaction vid because Camila Cabello, um, she did two live, two live performances. Okay, a couple of them, but... Uh, <laughs> And uh, she she did a lot. She basically performed Havana live, and as you can see, for some reason, um, that video has been one of <laughs> the most viewed out of all my videos. Um, so thanks for watching it. It's over 1K. Yay! Yeah. Um, thank you. That's <laughs> super super surprising <laughs> to me. Anyway, um, so now I'm gonna react to uh, her singing it live on and Jimmy on Jimmy Fallon first. On Jimmy Fallon. So here we go, and dear God, I hope it's good. <laughs> anyway, I have faith, it's fine, it's just, she's cool. Here we go. I don't know how loud it is. Oh shit, they got the, they got the trumpet, that's super Cuban. <laughs> that's a nice performance, entrance. <laughs> The hairdo is definitely really Latin. <laughs> like not her hairdo, like the girl's hairdo, like the dancers. I was kind of hoping that the guy in the trumpet was going to be wearing a guayabera, which is like a traditional like Cuban men's shirt that they wear. I don't know. It's, oh, the one with four pockets or something? Yes, that one. So, um, that would have been cool, but I don't, he's pretty fancy. I think he's better for the trumpet. I think if they had dancers, it maybe. She's dancing salsa. The dancing is really representative of the whole like poppy mixed with the Cuban sounds. I really love that trumpet. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's because whenever I think of like from the from the Cuban music that I've heard, that's I've always heard trumpets. They're really yeah. big on trumpets. I'm putting my. I'm mostly trying to concentrate on like the moves that they're using because they're mixing in like salsa with pop, which is perfect because that's what this song is. <laughs> but no, the shadow thing is what gets me. I'm like, it's familiar. <laughs> it's me. Nice. So this song basically became more popular than the other one she put out. Is what you're saying? <laughs> Thank God. So I don't, I, I don't, I didn't see what you saw with the background. I don't know. It was, I don't know. To me, it just looked bad. <laughs> Maybe the colors. Like, I'm I don't know why I see the way. shadow thing though. It's bugging me. Cause I don't know that part. That part I was like, but like, what was the reason behind doing the shadow thing like that? That's what I kind of envisioned when she sang Havana. Like yeah, it's the, the kind of song, the shadow songs, like where you can just see like a silhouette of somebody and then like a colorful background. That's what okay. I thought when I first heard the song. Okay. Is why it Latin? Why do you think that though? I, I don't like, what is it, it was the kind of. See, this is the thing is that Havana kind of reminds me of a Latin version of jazz. It's like a jazzy song, yeah. but with obviously the like Cuban sound to it. But I don't know. I'm just gonna say it's like a Cuban version of jazz. Okay. Let's just say that. What I was concentrating on though is the dancing that they were doing. The dancing, like, first of all, the hairdo. I don't know why, but the hairdos from the dancers remind me of like, like when my mom almost put me in Puerto Rico. Like, 
Jesus <laughs> Christ. Like those hairdos are a common like that's the hairdos that you see when you see people dance with Corico. The outfits, I'm not sure. Like I said, I would have it would have been cool if the guy in the trumpet would have like worn a guayabera or something and then like the hat that they put like, you know, like super Cuban. Um, but he was very like Cubans are very very like elegant. They like yeah. to dress up. They love to dress up and they're very like which is not a bad thing. Um, they like always are always looking like super fly. Like <laughs> they have to, you know? Especially the guys. Especially the guys. Which is surprising. But the girls too. And I think what I loved about the dancing though is that the song itself is like uh, is like I said like it has the the uh, Cuban music influence but it's also pop because that's what Camila Cabello does she does pop um, so it's like a good mixture of like pop and like and Latin music so what I liked is that the 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 dancing was exactly like that it had salsa moves in it but it also had like the common like like popping and locking and like the hip hop moves and stuff like but you never lost they were like they were dancing in salsa they were dancing like they were doing salsa moves which I liked and then her outfit it's just I like red so <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome and I, I like when she puts up her hair like that I like yeah. when she puts up her hair like that I liked it I like the performance. What did you think of it um, without the rap part? I loved it without the rap part. I'm sorry for those of you who like the rap part. I loved it without the rap part. I loved her. Vo I loved like just hearing the same like her voice. That's kind of what I like about Havana. Like yeah. for some reason, when it gets to the rap part, like it's not bad. Like it doesn't turn it doesn't me. Make sense. It doesn't turn me off. Like it doesn't throw me off. But yeah. it's it just it doesn't feel like it. It just. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stick to the whole like Cuban feel that it has to it. It's kind of random too, because he's like talking about himself, and I'm like, but what do you yeah. have to do with Havana? But then I'm like, okay. well, you might. I mean, you never know. I didn't really look up that rapper. He might be Cuban. Like, you never know. I don't know. But I'm like, I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying that maybe he's talking about himself. Cause maybe he's Cuban. Like, maybe he has Cuban descent. You know. Um, but. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> believe it or not, believe it or not, like a lot of people, like Cuban, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, they all, they all like, for some reason, I guess because it's, it's in the genes or whatever, mm -hmm. they, they kind of, they also have like some, like a little bit of like, of like black, like black culture. Because if you go to like Dominican Republic, y'all gonna think like, oh, these people are like, woo, like, you know, totally like, you know, black culture, but they're Latin. They're super Latin. They're just super like because of their genes and like their ancestors are super dark skinned, you know, which is great. Like it's it's like they shows that Latinos don't look like if you put me and you together, people are going to be like, wait, which was the like you're going to think obviously because of like my skin tone, <laughs> it's going to be me and that's Latina, right? But like what I love about it is that you never know. You never know what Latinos you can like see somebody and you might think like that, that they're African-American and they're like, no, I'm Dominican. Like <laughs> chill. <laughs> Like, you know, it's great. I love the diversity in it. But you never know. Young Thug might be Cuban. I'm not sure. I kind of liked... I kind of liked it without Young Thug. Mm -hmm. Because it kept the it kept the mood going. Like, it kept the whole, like, feel of the song going. And it was great. And it was great. But... Is she sing, like, does she sing the same part in the other performance? Or does she sing a different part? Like... The same part. Okay. The same thing. Okay. Oh, did you know there's a Spotify playlist? That if you listen to it, Spotify will donate money to Puerto Rico. There is? Yeah. I don't have Spotify. And, I, and I have, you don't have Spotify. No, I have title. I, I have title. But I I also I also like that um, we're not going to talk. I don't know why I'm talking about this. But um, you know how the new like Mi Gente featuring Beyonce came mm -hmm. out? Um, she was donating yeah, they donated to, money to both places. Yeah. yeah, to Puerto Rico and Mexico, which I freaking loved. No, hispanicfederation.org with Hispanic. Lynn Manuel Miranda. Oh. He's the one who made that Spotify playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't I I didn't know about that. That I was I was for Puerto Rico. Yeah. It's cuz there's so many like there's so many places you can donate now to Puerto Rico that I just like the ones that I know cuz I follow the people on my social media is Ricky Martin's, Luis Fonsi's. He also did one and then Univision did one called Unidos por Puerto Rico and, and they were Somos so Una Voz That's the oh. Univision one, sorry Whoa, 
Unidos por Puerto Rico is another like organization, and then Univision did Somos Una Voz um, that were donating to both Puerto Rico and Mexico. It's great, and we should touch upon it because not only, not only, I think people are forgetting that not only Puerto Rico got hit, but when Irma came by, Cuba got hit really hard, the Caribbean got hit really hard, the Dominican Republic got hit, Florida got hit. And I don't think a lot of people talked much about that. And if we're talking about Havana, we're staying on the topic. Havana is the main main capital city of, of Cuba. So I think people should 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 talk about what happened in the Caribbean and all the Caribbean. That includes all of the countries that I just mentioned. <laughs> so yeah. you know, so I it's, I think it's great. I think it's great that she donated. I'm, I didn't know that her and um, I know him as the guy from Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I love him. He's he's amazing. Um, he's got a great voice. And he's good. He's a great composer too. He's such a great musician. Yeah. Goodness. Um, so I'm glad that they started. They started like a little. He started it, and then I guess um, she's actually one of the people on that Spotify playlist also. Mm-hmm. So she I donated. Think. That's awesome. But I don't know what else they got coming because they were like. <laughs> he's like he's like the Havana song okay oh. checking them and she was like checking them now <laughs> so okay I found what it was okay he was making a song called love letter to Puerto Rico and it comes out tomorrow um, to raise funds for this for the island and here's all the people in it ready are you ready Louis Fonzi Mark Anthony Ruben Blades Camila Cabello Gloria Estefan Oh Jennifer my god, Rodriguez. Gloria Stefan, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Juan Ligazmo. Yeah. Ednita Nazario and Anna Villafano. Wait, did you just say. Let me see that. If. if Ednita Nazario is. If, if it's the person that I think it is. Oh my god, this sounds gonna be a bit. <laughs> oh my god, this is like super heavily charged. Let me know, Miranda. You go. You go, Bobo. Oh my God. It's oh shit. It's out tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Just remind me. <laughs> Look at it. I have to film myself. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So, so we're gonna talk about that. I mean, like, um, it'd be great if you guys like. I I talked about last time when my for my birthday, Mexico. How it would it would be super great if you guys helped out and donated, and because this kind of video has is being viewed a lot, and I, hopefully it is viewed as much as the original Havana reaction. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to say there's so many places that you can donate right now to to any play, any any of the affected areas of of these two um, to these two natural disasters. There's for what I like my understanding is um, Ricky Martin started one called Ricky Martin I mean you caring dot com slash Ricky Martin you can donate there uh, Luis Fonsi also started one that's also you caring dot com slash Luis Fonsi um, Univision did um, Somos Una Voz which is great I'm gonna put that link down below um, there's also an organization called Unidos por Puerto Rico all of these people um, are taking, I mean, for example, like Ricky Martin and Luis Fonsi, Nikki Jam and uh, Cheyenne, they all went and took up their private, their private plane. Pitbull too. Yeah. You see that? Pitbull. Daddy Yankee also as well did yeah. that. And they took their private planes and in their private planes, they bloated up on supplies that were all basically donations from people out like with the, mm -hmm. with, the uh, with the people that donated like the money that they donated they all used it for supplies and everything and they flew their private jets and they f because nobody else was doing shit <laughs> um <coughs> donald trump <coughs> um and they went themselves and they they landed they they went to puerto rico and they helped out they helped out how you should help out and it's not just throwing stupid paper towels at people it's about sitting there talking to the people and being there for people because I think we forget that Puerto Rico is is a US colony and they are American citizens I'm just gonna leave as many links as you like and you can donate if you can or just really just share where you can donate to that helps a lot I'm going to leave links to anywhere where you can donate right here in the corner up below. That includes the ones where um, Camila Cabello donated, Ricky Martin's, Luis Fonsi's, who's ever is started a charity. I'm going to try as find as much, as many places that I can put up here so you can help both Mexico and Puerto Rico in any affected area that any of the hurricanes did. Guys, gotta help each other out. 
So, all right. <laughs> all right guys, that was my reaction video to the live one. It's very long because we were, are talking about important things. There are things going on in the world that we need to talk about. Um, so thanks for, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to follow me on my social media in Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a good day. Mexicana, Mexicana. Ow, I miss my jarritos. Why do you never reply that anymore? Looks like you forget. <laughs>